Oh, it is so great to be back in Austin, Texas. I am 20 miles north of Austin, Texas. This is going into Austin. This is not the traffic coming out of Austin. This is just a normal Wednesday afternoon. This is Wednesday, January 18th, where it is 72 degrees at 540. So I pulled out of New York yesterday. Let me go through the towns I've been through. All right, let's see. Well, I can't count Buffalo because I kind of missed it. All right, Erie, Pennsylvania. Cleveland, Ohio. Columbus, Ohio. Cincinnati, Ohio. Now in Cincinnati, uh, I got stuck 15 minutes in Cincinnati. So we had Cincinnati, Ohio. What was next? Louisville, Kentucky. After Louisville, we had Nashville, Tennessee. We had Memphis, Tennessee. Little Rock, Arkansas, Dallas, Texas, and now Austin. This is the worst, this is probably the worst traffic jam I have been in. I am going to take a wild guess. This is the worst traffic jam I have been in since I left Austin. Almost eight months ago, uh, have I been in a traffic jam this bad since the day I left Austin, Texas? Uh, well, since I didn't go to Florida, well, I spent two weeks in, in California you know, back and forth between Santa Barbara and Los Angeles and Bakersfield. I, in two weeks in California, I never experienced uh, anything like this. Never once in two weeks in Southern California did I uh, experience anything like this. This is, this is a bigger, you can add up all right, you can add up, it's a 27 hour drive from uh, Sandy's house in New York to Austin, Texas. You can add up Erie, Pennsylvania, Cleveland, Columbus, Cincinnati, Louisville, Nashville, Memphis, Little Rock, and Dallas. Add them all together and you do not have the traffic jam. You have 20 miles outside of Austin, Texas going in to town. I can only imagine what it's going to look like when I get to town, you know, for the traffic going out of town. I mean, the, the traffic on the, uh, on the feeder road is completely jammed. Uh, people trying to bail out of this. Uh, the little robot didn't say one word about this, not one word uh, about this. Now I did have the option about 10 miles back that I could have taken that fucking toll road from hell and gone about 20 miles more, driven an extra 20 miles. I don't know what the toll was though. I, I mean, I don't know what the toll, my guess is 10 or $12 and 20 more miles of driving. I could have avoided this. 
by getting on that fucking toll road uh, and paying the toll and the extra gas. But yep, I mean, Austin, Texas is the clear winner for the biggest traffic jam. Uh, it should be the, well, I, I mean, you know, when I get back from Belize, so I'm going to be back in this fucking town the whole month of March during South by Southwest. Now, I'm just going to park. <clears throat> I've got a place and I'm just going to park. There's no reason for me to even get in my fucking car for uh, for 10 fucking days for South by South. Well, this is what Austin, Texas is going to look like. Anywhere, anywhere in the city is going to look like this for 10 days. Uh, so there you go. I've heard that I-35 between Austin and Dallas is the, I've heard, and I don't know if people are joking, I hear it on pretty good authority, that this is the most crowded stretch of interstate in the United States of America, being on this shithole road. So, uh, there you go. It is great to be back in Austin, Texas. So, uh, it's telling me, my little robot, I need to get 32, it's telling me an hour and a half to go 32 miles. You know. <laughs> oh, fuck. Gotta love it. Back in Austin. Yeah,